Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Thursday, May the 23rd. It's the fifth week of the Easter season, and week four in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 71, and Wisdom, chapter 14, verse 27, to chapter 15, verse 3. And join me in singing the first verse of From All That Dwell by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. From all that dwell below the skies, let the Creator's praise arise. Let the Redeemer's name be sung through every land by every tongue. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, in you, O God Most High, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Alleluia. Psalm 71. And please recite it with me. Alleluia. In you, O God Most High, let me, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. You are my strong castle where I may seek refuge. You have given a commandment to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hands of the wicked, from the hands of the unrighteous and cruel. For you are my hope, O sovereign God. I have trusted in you since my youth. You have held me up since my birth, and you took me out of my mother's womb. I shall always praise you. I am a wonder to many, but you are my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with your praise and with your honor all the day. Do not cast me off in my old age. Do not forsake me when my strength fails. For my enemies speak against me and plot together to take my life. They say God has forgotten him. Pursue and seize him, for there is none to save. O God, come to my assistance. O my God, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and disgraced that are adversaries to my life. Let them be covered with reproach and scorn that seek my hurt. But I will always hope, and I will praise you more and more. My mouth shall tell of your mighty acts and your salvation all the day. And though I do not know the number of them, I will begin with your strength. I will tell of your righteousness, yours alone. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth, and I have declared your wondrous works. Now that I am old and gray-headed, O oh God, do not forsake me, until I have shown your strength to this generation, and your power to everyone that is to come. Your righteousness reaches the heavens. You have done great things, O oh God, who is like you? You have shown me great troubles. You shall revive me again and bring me up again from the depths of the earth. You shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. I will praise you with the psaltery for your faithfulness, O oh my God. To you I sing with the harp, to you the Holy One of Israel. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing to you, and my soul which you have redeemed. My tongue shall talk of your righteousness all the day long, for they are disgraced and brought to shame that seek my harm. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia to you, O God Most High. I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Alleluia. A reading from the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, beginning at verse 27. For the worship of idols not to be named is the beginning and cause and end of every evil. 
for their worshipers either rave in exultation or prophesy lies, or live unrighteously or readily commit perjury, for because they trust in lifeless idols, they swear wicked oaths and expect to suffer no harm. But just penalties will overtake them on two counts, because they thought wrongly about God in devoting themselves to idols, and because in deceit they swore unrighteously through contempt for holiness. For it is not the power of the things by which people swear, but the just penalty for those who sin that always pursues the transgression of the unrighteous. But you, our God, are kind and true, patient, and ruling all things in mercy. For even if we sin, we are yours, knowing your power. But we will not sin, because we know that you acknowledge us as yours. For to know you is complete righteousness, and to know your power is the root of immortality. Here ends the lesson. And now, when the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Comfort and revive us, dear God, that we may celebrate and sing your praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.